Hello and welcome to this how tech video tutorial. In this video, we're going to be showing you how to create a forecast sheet in Excel 2016. So to get started, I have a table of data right here. Just a few numbers I've put down. You can see that as time goes on, the trend line just gradually increases with a few ups and downs, but that is what we should expect to see in the actual forecast. So I'll select all of our data. We can go under the data tab here and we hit forecast sheet to create our forecast sheet. And we have our data plotted in the blue and over here in the orange and these dates, we have the actual forecast. So uh, we have the upper confidence bound and the lower confidence bound. The middle line, of course, is the actual forecast that Excel has generated for us. We can change where it ends and as expected, we should see a steady increase as according to our previous data. And furthermore, after we look at that, we can go under the options tab and see if there's anything that we would like to change, such as the forecast start, the timeline range. We can fill in the missing points if there are any using zeros or interpolation. We can even aggregate duplicates and we have a few more options. And when we're done with that, we can go ahead and click create and that'll create an entirely new sheet. I'll just move our chart over. So we have an entirely new sheet right over here, and this is all of our forecast data. It's even set up some more data here with the lower and upper confidence bounds and the actual forecast data points. And this has been a How Tech video tutorial. Please like, subscribe, comment, and thank you for watching.